Assalamu alaikum welcome to YouTube channel online operating system we are here with our next lecture now today we shall discuss about the agenda process scheduling concept process creation and termination process management in unix linux system sample course recap of the lecture in scheduler we shall discuss about the three types long term scheduler short term scheduler and medium term scheduler as we shall discuss these things in detail in our previous lecture in long term scheduler or job scheduler select processes from the job pool to be brought into the ready queue long term scheduler is invoked very frequently second minutes the two long term scheduler controls a degree of multi programming more processes smaller percentage of time each process is executed in short term scheduler selects which process should be executed next and allocates it in the cpu through the dispatcher Short term scheduler is invoked very frequently. Invoke when following events occur. CPU slice of the current process finishes. Current process needs to wait for an event. Clock interrupt, IO interrupt, system call, and signal. In medium term scheduler, also nano, known as a swapper, select as a memory process and swaps it out the disk temporarily. Swapping decision is based on the several factors arrival of a higher priority process but no memory available. Poor mix of job, memory request of a process cannot be met. In context switch, when CPU switches to another process, the system must have the state contest of the current process load the same state for the new processes. Context switch time is overhead, the system does not know useful work while switching. Time depends on how much of it typically in microseconds. Now we shall discuss about the process creation. Parent process create children process which in return create other process forming a tree of processes. Resource sharing. Parent and children share all the resources. Children share a subset of parents' resources. Parent and children share no resources. Execution. Parent and children execute concurrently. Parent waits until children terminate. Address space. Child duplicates of parent. Child has a program loaded into it. Your next example fork system call creates a new process exact system call used for fork to replace a process memory image with a new executable. Now process is tree on a Unix system as you see here the flow chart of user 1, user 2 and user 3 are given below. In process termination process execute the last statement and request the operating system to terminate it. Output data from child to parent. Process resources are deallocated by the operating system to be recycled later. In process termination, parent may terminate execution of the child processes. Child has exceed allocate resources, memory, and execution time. Parent need to create another child but has reached its maximum children limit. Task performed by the child is no longer required. Parent exit the cascade termination. Now we shall discuss about the process management in Unix Linux. Important process related Unix and Linux system called fork, wait, exec and exit. In fork, when the fork system call is executed, a new process is created which consists of a copy of the address space of the parent. This mechanism allows the parent process to communicate easily with the child process. The return code for fork is zero for the child process and the process identifier of a child will return to the parent processes. On success, both processes continue execution and the instruction after the fork call. Fork does inherit from the parent. Child process inherit the following attributes from the parent. Environment, open file, descriptor table, signal handling setting, nice value, current working directory, root directory, file mode, creation mode. Now we shall discuss the child different from the parent. The child process different from the parent process, different process ID, different parent process ID. Child has its own copy of parent's file descriptors. There are forks which are failure. So there are some reasons that tells about the failure. Maximum number of processes allowed to execute under one view user has exceeded. Maximum number of processes allowed in the system has exceeded. Not enough space space. One system called on wait. To suspend the calling process until one of its immediate children terminates or until a child that is being traced stops because it has hit an event of interest. Wait returns prematurely if a single if the signal is received. If all children processes stop or terminate it prior to the call in wait, return is immediate. 
But what if the call is successful? If the call is successful, the process ID of the terminating child is returned. If parent terminate all its children have assigned as their new parent the innate process, does the children still have a parent to collect their status and execution statistics? Here is the last process that is including wait zombie process, a process that has terminated but whose exist status has not yet been received by its parent process or by innate. In exec, typically three exec system call is used after fork system call by one of the two process to replace the process memory space with a new executable program. The new process images is constructed from an ordinary executable file. We shall end our lecture here. Inshallah, we shall discuss remaining in our next lecture. Stay tuned with us if you like the video, then subscribe and share. Thank you. Allah Hafiz.